When people look back at their childhood, everyone will remember Vortex on the CW. Vortex on the CW was really modern Fox kids being in disguise because it was owned by Saban. But it's time we had to talk about first, before Vortex even launched, we need to talk about Fox Kids. So, how is Fox Kids doing? Well, Fox Kids was a failure back then. Ever since it was dis- its dis- discontinuation in September 2002. Let's see. Be- let's see. It led to networks like JetX and Foxbox, which later became 4Kids TV. Let's see the history and see how Fox Kids got there. Fox Kids, originally known as the Fox Children's Network and later as the Fox Kids Network, or stylized as Fox Kids, is a former children's programming block and branding for a slate of international children's television channels. It ran from September 8, 1990 until September 7, 2002. As a joint venture between the Fox Broadcasting Company and its affiliate stations, which has later been owned by Fox Family Worldwide, Fox Kids originated as a programming block that aired on Fox Network from September 8, 1990 till September 7, 2002. The block aired on Saturday mornings throughout its existence and Sunday mornings in Canada, with an additional block on Monday through Friday afternoons, airing until January 2002. Fox Kids is the only form of daytime television programming outside of sports, aired by the Fox Network to date. Following the Fox Parent, Net- Parent News Corporation's sale of Fox Kids Worldwide to Walt Disney in July 2001, Fox put up the remaining Saturday morning time slot out for bidding, with 4Kids Entertainment winning and securing the rights to program that period. Fox Kids Block continued to air until September 7, 2002, and the following week was replaced by the Fox Box by the 4Kids Entertainment Company on September 14, 2002, which later became 4Kids TV. Fox Kids was best known for airing the most popular programs on the block, such as Bobby's World and the Power Rangers series, which, with the latter dominating the block schedule, which with increased ratings, including a franchise. Also, Fox Kids frequently used Power Rangers for its promotions due to the show's popularity. Outside the United States, the Fox Kid, the first Fox Kids branded television channel was launched in Australia on October 1st, 1995. It was launched on cable and satellite television provider, Foxtel. Not to be confused with the name Mattel. We're talking about Foxtel. Foxtel is an Australian pay television company. It then expanded to the UK and Ireland, and Ireland, launching on BSKYB in 1996. And after that, it started broadcasts in Latin America on November of the same year. Beginning in 2004, the international and Latin America's channels were gradually relaunched under the new brand, following Disney's acquisition of Fox Family Worldwide, Jetix. So, on September 8, 1990, the Fox Children's Network was launched. But soon in 1991, they rebranded it to Fox Kids Network. All Fox affiliates had the block at first. But instead, they want to focus on news and business. And Fox Kids wasn't neither of those. WSVM Miami was the first affiliate to drop the block. Fox signed an agreement with New World Entertainment to switch its stations from ABC, CBS, and NBC to Fox within the upcoming months in the 90s. Many of these new Fox stations decided not to air Fox Kids, but instead to air on, but instead to air news and businesses. Like, you know, they want to focus on news, weather reports, and new shows. In response to this, since Fox doesn't give us, give us sucky crap about children's programming, Fox ordered Fox Kids to air in some independent stations, alongside Kids WB and UPN Kids. This also includes... Fox 29 Philadelphia, WTXF. 
Um, the block was was originally been headed by President Margaret Loesch, who used to be president of Hub Network until 2014, when it was replaced by a new president who who launched who we launched the Hub as Discovery Family. So, some stations like like KTI St. Louis and other shows would air Fox Kids, the afternoon block, at a different time slot and lead it into the evening news. A few years into Fox Kids' run, Warner Brothers produced shows were added, such as Animaniacs, Tiny Toon Adventures, and Batman the Animated Series. In 1995, when the WB was launched, fall alongside Kids WB in September of 1995 of that year, the Warner Brothers produced shows were added, Fox Kids kept in high ratings. Much like Toon Disney, Fox Kids aired live action, anime, and animated shows towards the children and teenagers. They even aired Transformers. They even aired George of the Jungle. During the 90s, the late 90s or mid 90s, Fox wanted to expand Fox Kids worldwide. So they made an alliance with Saban to merge and call it Fox. Kids networks worldwide, thanks, thanks to Saban, but soon been later expanded, it soon later evolved into Fox Family Worldwide, thanks to an acquisition of a family entertainment who ran a family channel. If there's only one thing that could become the bane of Fox Kids, the block's existence, it's the Children's Television Act, imposed by the FCC. These these networks manifested themselves with the introduction of EI. EI stands for Educational and Informative. That's why EI would appear in PBS Kids shows, the EI symbol. This new law stated that children's programming must air at least educational programming per week and a day. The shows Fox Kids aired did not comply with EI, so in 1998, they added the PBS series, former PBS series, The Magic School Bus, to the lineup. Around the time, the, 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 the schedule that was... The afternoon schedule by Fox Kids was reduced to two hours. In 2000, Fox affiliates were given the option to push the block up to 2 to 4 p.m. instead to 3 to 5 p.m. if they ran the news at 5. Some stations delayed Fox from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Most children would be, go- would be at school by then, and it wasn't highly rated anyway. A few stations decided to use the time slot to add a magic school bus to comply with EI. Never mind the fact it wasn't the big of an audience to enjoy it, but but anything to comply with the education programming rule. But it wasn't just EI that Fox Kids was having trouble with all this time. It had once been the king of kids TV and ratings ever since 1992. But ever since 1998, it was dethroned by ABC's recently launched One Saturday Morning, Disney's One Saturday Morning, which later been rebranded to ABC Kids. It was then overtaken again by one of its main competitors, Kids WB, thanks to Pokemon, Indigo League. The other networks simply offer better quality shows, a problem that was largely caused by Fox Kids losing the rights to the Warner Brothers produced shows a few years early. And no matter what they did and what they can come up, Fox Kids just couldn't keep up with the rest of the big free pack. As if Fox Kids was having a hard time already, the end of Fox Kids happened ever since 2001. In 2001, 20 years ago, the Fox affiliates decided that they wanted to use the time slot taken up by Fox Kids for their own programming so they can keep up with more of ABC, CBS, and NBC. But then, in that year, Fox finally had enough. Fox Kids, Fox Family Worldwide, and Saban Entertainment were sold to the Walt Disney Company. After Fox Family was sold to the Walt Disney Company in July 2001, Fox Kids was placed under to under the oversight of Fox Television Entertainment. 
Disney let Fox Television Entertainment oversee the dying brand and let them operate it at Fox TV headquarters in Hollywood. Oh yeah, Fox knew that the writing was on the wall for Fox Kids. And in December 2001, Fox discontinued their daytime children's programming in December 2001 giving back the time to its affiliates to give more time for their own shows. In addition, in se- from September 2001, the weekday block was discontinued. The, the network's flagship on WNYW New York and KTTV deferred it to their UPN affiliate sister stations while continuing to air the block on Saturday mornings. In addition, in 2002, Fox put up its children's programming block up for bidding, and Forkets Entertainment, then producers of the English double Pokemon Indigo League, producing the remaining four hour Saturday of time period of Fox Kids for its programming. Forkets Entertainment was sold the rights to air Fox Kids on Saturdays, and they did so until September 7, 2002, when the plug was finally pulled from altogether on the poor Fox Kids block. Fox Kids was replaced seven days later by the Fox Box, which was run by 4Kids Entertainment. In fact, in fact, on January 22nd, 2005, Fox Box was renamed to 4Kids TV, and it ran until December 27th, 2008. To recap, on November... In November 2008, 4Kids Entertainment announced that their 4Kids TV blog would be discontinued by the end of the year due to 4Kids not paying Fox the timelies for a while and conflict with the network and Fox affiliates over not airing the block. The block would be shown off by the WB and My Network TV. Sound familiar? 4Kids TV ran until December 27, 2008. Fox would never again venture into the realm of children's TV. Internationally, Disney continued to run the Fox Kids channel until 2004, when it was replaced by Jetix. If you guys want to learn more, you should watch Madora Entertainment's video or my video about Jetix. So, the reason why Fox Kids failed was simply because it wasn't planned like it could have been. And also, it just really wasn't really needed in the end. See, it's clear from the early 90s onwards that the, that the affiliates, all the Fox affiliates who had the block, didn't like what Fox Kids had done to their schedules. They simply increased the scheduling over and over. And this is what made the affiliates get ticked off. But it did maintain good ratings because of Power Rangers. It wouldn't keep those ratings. And due to the fact that the FCC, it was inevitable that Fox Kids would crumble. After after Fox Kids was replaced by Jetix Worldwide, Fox Kids played on repeats till September 7th, 2002. After Fox Kids, while Fox Kids ended its existence on broadcast television in the United States, Disney insulted a two-hour block morning lineup on its newly ABC Family cable channel known as ABC Family's Action Block. That was sim- that was programmed similar to Fox Kids and featured content oriented on the block. Internationally, Disney temporarily retained the Fox Kids brand for the international channels in Europe, Israel, and LA Latin America, acquired through the purchase of Fox Kids Worldwide, which later became ABC Family Worldwide after the sale was was purchased and was completed. In 2004, Disney began branding its action and, and adventure programming from the Fox Kids library as Jetix. Jetix internationally replaced the Fox Kids blocks and channels. And in the U.S., Jetix coexisted with Fox Box. And in the U.S., Jetix had blocks on Toon Disney and ABC Family. Which, ABC Family, which been rebranded into Freeform. 
Jetix on Toon Disney was a primetime lineup block. Soon, Disney XD was launched, were placed Jetix and Toon Disney. However, the Fox Kids name was used again for a web, for a web series, Fox Kids Movie Challenge, produced by 20th Century Fox Studios for the Fox Family Entertainment YouTube channel. See? The Fox Kids isn't dead yet. But then, in 2012, Vortex was launched, replaced Toon's Eye, which, which was soon... Which was originally known as the CW for Kids Toons Eye. CW for Kids had nothing but shows from Four Kids TV, according to someone. Soon later, it was rebranded as Toons Eye, and then became Vortex on CW. Vortex on the CW is really Fox Kids in disguise because it is owned by Saban. Out of the ordinary, Toons Eye and Vortex both carried on the Fox Kids legacy. But thanks to Fox, they're not going to see their Fox Kids block ever again ever since the 90s. They won't forget that backlash. They better learn that again if Vortex ever comes back and they don't get the memo yet. Let me know in the comments. What do you think Fox could have did to make Fox Kids still stay afloat? Do you think they should recontinue Fox Kids? Even in the modern world, do you think it was very smart for Fox to kill their own kids block thank you for watching and as always stay tuned sorry i haven't made a history video in a long time